welcome back to my channel. This is Kyla Monarch coming to you uh, with a different type of video today. This is actually going to be a demonstration video. I've been asked by a couple of my viewers um, to show them how I would draw from a belly band holster. I did a review on a couple of belly band holsters and that would be the Caldwell and the Comfortac belly band holsters but with the call well i've since given it away so i'll be doing the demonstration actually using the comfort tech um belly band holster so i just want to show you guys a few things about it before i get into that um demo and one thing is and i am wearing it um this belly band holster it does have a pocket here for an extra mag and this pocket where the firearm will go it actually has a snap that goes over the grip or underneath the beaver tail of the gun um if you don't know what the beaver tail is let me show you this is my edc my everyday carry, my baby, P365 says sour. And of course, she is clear. Okay. But a beaver tail, let me go ahead and close the slide. Okay. The beaver tail is this area right here. This part right here is considered to be the beaver tail. Okay. And. This strap, let me go ahead and put this empty mag. This is the flush mag for this particular handgun. When you put this inside of this area here, let me pull my shirt up. The snap fits over the grip or underneath that beaver tail you see how it sits up under there okay that's the beaver tail there all right so this is how the gun will sit in this part of the holster okay and i want you guys to just be aware that the snaps may Mm. Well, I'm going to say it like this. Okay. In this position, the snaps are a good thing, but it may not be a good thing when you're in a situation and someone is coming toward you. Okay. And in a situation where you're defending yourself, um, every second counts. Okay. And that's on a serious note. Every second counts. And if you're in a situation and someone is running up on you, a person is probably 10 feet, 10 feet away from you or maybe 7 feet away from you, can get to you in under 5 seconds. Okay? So, if this nap it's not easy to come loose and you to get your grip to pull your gun out and be prepared for that situation maybe you shouldn't use the snaps okay with the Caldwell belly band holster they didn't have snaps where the firearm sat or where the firearm was sit and in this situation, I probably would tuck the front snap and the back one too so that I won't have to deal with that snap issue when I get ready to go for my firearm. And it'll give me some extra seconds, if that makes sense. Give me some extra seconds so I don't have to deal with that snap. I just go right to my firearm grip and I got it. But when you have that snap, to think about it, it being an issue, you have to wonder if you're going to be able to uh, snap it quickly or if you're going to be nervous and jittery 
and be fumbling with it and may and it may not open and then you come into a situation like this where you're trying to get it and it's coming out like this and this and holding it you don't want that you don't want that in a situation where you're, uh, you don't want that when you're dealing with a situation such as that because your life is on the line. Okay? And any obstruction is a detriment when you're in a situation. You don't want any obstructions at all. So that's something that I want you guys to think about. Now, if you think you can do it with the snap, practice it with the snap. Practice it until you really, really good at it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to tell you that I'm Speedy Gonzalez and quick draw McGraw with this holster with this snap. Now, if I practice it and get really acclimated, you know, really acclimated with it, I probably would be fast with it. But I'm not going to even pretend. I know that I'm faster without this than I am with it. I know I am. Because I don't have I, my mind is won't won't have to deal with that if I'm in a situation. If it's you know if it's not there, I just go right for the group. But here I am. So that's something to think about. And that's something to consider. And I just advise you guys just to be aware of the second factor. The seconds, every second, it matters. You know, you have like I said, you will have somebody up on you in five seconds. So you need to be pulling that firearm out in less than five seconds. In less than three seconds if you can. Get around that one second, two second mark. Way sooner than before that, um, than before that person or those persons get up in your space. Get up in your circle. You want to already have that firearm out and ready. Before they even get into your circle or before they even get into your comfort zone, you want to already have that firearm already out and ready. Okay, so I'm a I'm I'm done with that part. So, <laughs> but I needed to tell you guys about that because that is an important feature that you have to think about. That's an important attribute that you must consider. When you're dealing with the snaps and all of this with these particular belly band holsters, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see how, how fast I can get this firearm out with the snap. Okay, so this will be my first try. Situation come up. Eyes on the target. See, to me, that was slow. To me, that was slow. Okay, let's try it again. Mm. And see, even putting it back in here without looking at it, you have to be very aware with this particular holster. It is not your normal holster. But at the same time, you have to deal with the snaps. You have to get very acclimated with the snaps, okay? Um, demonstration or second time. Second time. Situation. Eyes on the target. See what? Wow. So not quick. So not quick. All right, third time, situation comes up, eyes on the target, and there you are. But see, I'm fumbling with it, and this is not even with, it, with an adrenaline rush. This is not even if I'm in a real situation. Let's do it a few more times. All right, fourth time, 
situation. Eyes on the target. Okay. So the more times you do it, of course, it, it involves that you practice. If you're going to do it with the snap, you must practice this. It can be done. It can be done. Okay, we're going to put it back. Do it one more time. All right. Go. All right. Do we have that on right? Yeah, it's not right. Okay. Now, fifth time. Situation eyes on the target. Okay. A little faster, but not at the best speed I am comfortable with. Okay. So let's try it without the snap. Or without the snaps. You, we're going to tuck this. We're going to tuck this in the back. All right. So no snap across that beaver tail, okay? Nothing on that grip. Nothing on the grip. So let's try it now. Situation. Eyes on the target. Oh, sorry. First time. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> All right. First time. Situation. Eyes on the target. So much better. So much faster. Even though the hand positioning probably wasn't correct, you are still face forward with your firearm in front. Okay? All right, let's try that again. No snaps to deal with, okay? But you see how easy and how much faster, how much more fast or how faster that was, okay? Um, second time, okay? Situation, eyes on the target. There we go. That is what we want. That is what we want. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to feel. That's the confidence we want to have when we get ready to pull out our firearm and at the speed we put in our firearm out. That is what we want or faster. Okay? Let's try that again. Third time. That is exactly what we want. That's what we're going for. Okay? Third time. Situation, eyes on the target. Okay. That is, this, the more you practice, the faster you get. But it's easier when you don't have any other obstructions. When you don't have anything obstructing you from, obstructing your hand from getting to this grip. Okay, let's try one more time, a few more times, maybe a couple of more times, because that was the third, fourth, fourth time. Situation, eyes on the target. There we go. That's all day long. No obstruction, nothing over that grip, nothing that is keeping you from getting to that grip. Fifth time, last time. Five. Situation. Eyes on the target. And there you go. And that is what you want. That is what you want. That's the position you want to be in. And that's the speed you're trying to be in or faster. Okay? This is the easiest way for me. The easiest and the quickest way for me. Here, here, here. That is what we want. Okay? We don't need no uh, we don't need nothing that's gonna cause us additional fumbling when we're trying to get to our firearm and we're in a situation. Okay. So I hope this video was instrumental to 
Um, my viewers that wanted to see how I would draw from a belly bag holster, I hope I answered your questions and answered your concerns. Um, if I didn't, please let me know. And for anyone else that may have any type of uh, concerns about using a belly band holster or carrying with a belly band holster, let me know what your thoughts are, um, your takes, your, your pros or your cons or what have you, you know, because we're all in this together. Uh, we're all learning this together and it would be good if we would continue to practice drawing from holsters and things like that. But you have to you have to use and wear the holster that best fits you, and then you have to use the holster that's gonna work to your advantage. You don't want to you don't want to wear a holster that's gonna work to your disadvantage, okay? And um, that's all that I have. But thank you guys for liking, sharing, commenting, uh, subscribing to my channel. You guys are the best. Um, and until the next. Until my next video, I don't know if it's going to be a demonstration of me drawing from a holster or a review, but until that's why I said until my next video, <laughs> until my next video, thank you guys so much, and you guys stay safe out here, it's a lot going on, the climate is changing, um, not only weather-wise, but societal-wise, so you guys continue to stay on guard and until my next video i will see you guys soon take care